Okay, I'm cutting in because, like I said, it's in parts. So, this is not even, what I'm filming right now is not the same day as the other parts I'm going to show you. So, I'm just popping in, letting you know, if you ain't done so yet, go and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, comment, share, and I'm just going to get back into the video, my bad. Okay, I did just a rough draft, so this is kind of how it came out. Don't know if that's right, but that's why we have test fabric to test this stuff out for, right? Ooh. Okay, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jonathan Denise here, and Gotti. Look, Gotti. <laughs> Anyways, I am here doing the top part of my body, the bodice part um like i said i am not a fashion designer but anyways if you are new here welcome to this possible pass or fail we're rooting for pass though we are very he's near the heater that's why he's like right here he loves the heater just as much as i do so yeah here's the bodice and if you're like really confused on what's going on I am here trying to figure out how to create my own baby shower dress because I got tired of looking for dresses and I didn't want to pay nobody three, four hundred dollars to customize a dress for me either. So I was like, you know what? Let's figure it out myself. So <sighs> I'm here doing my bodice. I watched a lot of videos. I'm going based on what I think. I'm not saying it will be correct. But we will find out when it is all said and done. Right? Right. All right. <laughs> okay, so this was so pointless because I think I ended up remaking it. I think. Did I? Honestly, I don't remember. Uh, The bodice. Yeah, I did end up remaking it because you're going to see in a minute that... And I'm like, the, the piece of paper blank. Yeah, I just ended up starting it over. And then I remade another one. So this was so pointless. I, Because I wasn't following directions. I missed the whole thing uh, when creating one of these. So I had to go back and rewatch videos on how to create the bodice. And once I got that, I tried again. And now, uh, I don't know. It, it, it's... It's something. It's something. I'll tell you that. I. Right. It's definitely something. But I'm just here doing my measurements, marking the little parts of where I guess I don't know. I don't like I told you, I'm not a fashion designer. I don't know. I'm gonna just give y'all a bootleg version of what I think it is and what it is. Cause I I look <laughs> I just knew enough to do it how it's supposed to be done. Is it done fully correctly? Probably not. But it is what it is. You know, here we are. Taking it day by day. Hey, I'm back. So, and the next thing you're going to see is me actually uh, setting up the sewing machine. I got as much as I can of showing how I uh, got it together and stuff like that. Uh... I end up having an orange bandana that I don't wear. It just sits in my drawer. End up cutting it up and practice stitches on there. So you will see that in the next scene, just in case. Uh, if you're wondering, I did. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, really? Dude. Dude. Anyways, uh, yeah, you will see that in the next scene. All right, so we got this. We are on to that, that was the sole purpose of me getting up and being scissors. Stay. That would follow. Stay. And okay. Okay. We got it. 
Through what case? Slot of case? The hell is that? Oh my gosh, I have no idea what we're talking about. Okay. Okay, so I actually end up figuring it out. Uh, I got it working. It took roughly around two hours. So I can show y'all the different stitches I was doing. Um, they're not perfect, of course, but this is what I have so far. This one is probably like the neatest stitch right here. The one. Okay, so my slow ass forgot or did not forget, I didn't know you had to put the foot down on the sewing machine. So that's why you look at my stitching and you're like, uh, why your stitching look like that? Because I ain't put the foot down on the thing. So my stitches was looking crazy. But once I got that under control, baby, I got it together. My finger's over. I mean, not that one, this one. It looks good, but at the same time, I don't know. Like, okay, imagine like you having a garment on and you see, okay, come on phone, stay up and you see a stretch like this is the zigzag i don't and of course since it's blue of course it's going to show up so you ain't gonna be able to see it but do you do backwards like do you do reverse stitch on zigzag is that even a thing i don't know i don't know how this shit works So this pretty much wrapped up this video. Um, I think I was just so focused on trying to get the sewing machine to work and I wasn't really paying attention too much on recording as much as I should. Uh, I got as much as you, uh, as you can see, I was struggling, but I called it a night. So the first part was Thursday night and then this video is a recording of Friday night. So this is all happened back to back. Uh, that's why you probably see me with different clothes on um, in the scenes. But right now, I've been sitting on the dryer. I've been done. I just ain't been getting up. I'm trying to finish this edit. But, yeah, I don't really have anything else for this clip. Part three is me actually making, starting the practice dress just to see if my measurements are correct. I actually had fun. Uh, but until then, I'm only showing this part of my face because I look a mess. It's fine. It's whatever. I'll show my face. Oh my god but anyways if you have not done so yet hit the subscribe button like comment share uh part three will be going up uh, eventually soon maybe i'll probably post this like once a week i don't know it depends on how i feel or if i ain't got no other videos to upload i just upload part three um yeah part three will be of me starting the practice dress of like just a sample dress to see how it came comes out so yeah Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.